Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a small Canadian Bath and Body Works haul to show you. Uh, and uh, after my haul, I will be sh talking about my tips and tricks when it comes to shopping at Bath and Body Works during um, their semi-annual sale, no, otherwise known as SAS or SAS. Um, <clears throat> so uh, this video is going to be a long one and a chatty one. So grab a drink, grab a snack, and just relax. So, um, but before I get into all of that, I will be showing you my haul. Um, so what you see in front of you is a tote bag that I forgot to show you guys in a previous video. Um, I purchased that um, quite a while ago. It is a large tote bag that Bath & Body Works is selling right now in stores. Um, and it comes in two sizes, uh, a larger one, which I've purchased, and a smaller version. Uh, now, the um, bag does not fit all in frame, but at least you could see it in front of you uh, on how it looks like. Um, so I decided to add this onto my collection. Um, and uh, this was, I believe, a little bit over $2 here in Canada. Uh, I just, uh, it's it's inexpensive. It's just your normal tote bag. It's almost like a grocery bag. So, but um, yeah, I was happy to pick that up. On May 15th, um, I walked into my local Bath & Body Works store hoping to find these um, summertime fine fragrance mists that were released and I did find them and I did purchase all three of them. Um, now my store did not have a huge display of them. Um, they were located on the side wall which I was really surprised because um, a lot of stores that I've seen online had uh, bigger displays for this collection um, but my store did not so and I almost missed them until a uh, clerk had showed me where they were located. So <clears throat> I decided to pick up all three because uh, I feel like these are going to be sold out rather quickly at my store. Um, my local store is a smaller Bath & Body Works store. It's not very large. Uh, although they do sell White Barn products, um, yeah, it, they just, um, they tend to sell out products really, really quickly for some reason. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I decided to pick up all three so I won't lose out. Now, I also picked up a fourth um, new fine fragrance mist that was released uh, that day. Um, <clears throat> and, I, of course, I used a coupon, so I did save a little bit of money, um, which is good. So, but I was excited about this one um, within this collection. Uh, now, by the way, this collection, I think it's called Sip and Serve. Um, and you'll see why it's called that. Um, so the, the first one in the collection is called Sunset Glow. Um, that one was released, um, I believe, last year and the year before. Don't quote me, but all I know, all I know is this is a repackage. Um, this has been out in the stores previously, and of course in a different package. Um, this one, the scent notes are uh, fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, caramelized vanilla. Um, <clears throat> so this is a very cherry. Um, sweet scent. Um, now, when it comes to cherry uh, notes, it can be a hit and miss with some people. Um, some people will find cherry notes to be almost on the um, side of smelling like cough syrup. Um, <clears throat> but uh, fortunately on my skin, it actually smells like cherries with uh, 
and on the dry down I do get the vanilla note. Now um, I missed out on this the first time this was released only because at the time I wasn't really buying a lot of body care from Bath and Body Works. Of course I was buying the candles but I wasn't as I mentioned I wasn't really buying a lot of body care at the time. Um, so yeah, when it comes to ba Bath and Body Works, I tend to go through a surge of purchasing lots of fine fragrance mists, uh, for example, and then I just suddenly stop. So I've been shopping at Bath and Body Works on and off since, oh wow, oh man, since like um, the early 2000s when Bath and Body Works was first released, or first um, opened up here in Canada back in 2008. Um, but, um, of course, Bath and Body Works, um, started off in the 90s in, in the U.S. Um, I do remember shopping at Bath and Body Works in the late 90s. So, yes, essentially, yeah, I've been shopping at Bath and Body Works since the late 90s, here on and off. But mainly, um, obviously, since 2008. So, um... <clears throat> so I'm very much familiar with uh, the products from Bath and Body Works. Um, for me, Bath and Body Works brings back a lot of uh, memories from, and uh, so yeah, that's why I like shopping there. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, um, this one again is called Sunset Glow, um, and uh, a lot of people are saying this year's version is not as strong. As the, as the one previously, um, but um, regardless, I love this scent, um, and I'd really like the stripey um, straw in, in this bottle, as you can see. <clears throat> so that is Sunset Glow. Uh, the next one in the collection is Sparkling Orange Spritz. Um, this one, the fine fragrance notes are Sunkissed Mandarin, Bubbly Prosecco, Citrus Soda. Um, <clears throat> so this one, to me, it almost smells like an orange soda. Um, some people love it. Some people don't li like it. Um, I personally do like it. On me, at first, it does smell like, like an orange crush. And then... Um, it just dries down to a nice vanilla on me. So um, I do like it. Um, however, this is one I don't, I find myself not reaching out for that often, but I'm happy to have that in my collection. Um, again, there is a, a striped straw in the middle there. Um, <clears throat> so, and the next one is called, um, Poolside Cabana. It's a green one. You could see the straw in this one uh, more so. This one, the fine fragrance notes are crisp pear, warm breeze, solar sandalwood. I do not smell the pear note in this. I smell lime. Um, now, a lot of people are saying this is a repackage of, uh, I, believe, I believe it's called Pear Margarita. So, um, and I can see that, um, but um, I don't I have iced Pear Margarita in my collection, but I can see where they um, refer that to. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I smell lime. Uh, it's like a lime drink. That's what it reminds me of. And uh, again, this one, this one is not not one I will gravitate towards in this collection. I gravitate more towards the Sunset Glow. Um, and but I'm happy to have all three in my collection. Uh, I feel like these are a fun addition to my collection, and I'm happy to have them. Now, Bath & Body Works has done these striped straws in the past for um, uh, for summer. So, and I'm really happy that they brought that back. I personally feel that the striped so uh, 
straws would be great with the Christmas traditions like twisted peppermint, um, winter candy apple, and, uh, and vanilla bean noel. I think th that would be amazing. So um, anyways, that is the sip and serve collection. The next one I had picked up, which was also released the same day, um, was Love Always Wins. So, um, Bath and Body Works every year, they do release a, um, a Pride Day collection. Um, I believe last year, um, it was called like Rainbow Waves, I'm not sure. But, uh, but it was still called Love Always Wins, but it was also slash uh, Rainbow Waves. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of that one, but I do like this year's. And it seems like every year they do change the uh, scent. Uh, and this is my actually my first time purchasing uh, Love Always Wins. I wanted to add this to my collection. I'm a big supporter of you know, of being, of, uh, Pride Day, and, um, so, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm a big supporter, so, um, yeah, I wanted to add this onto my collection to represent my, my support with the community. Um, <clears throat> so the scent notes for this is a golden starfruit, fresh coconut water, cedarwood heart, um, now, some people like this one and some people don't. Again, um, this I find would be a, is a great unisex um, fragrance. It's, it's sweet. I, I absolutely do like it. So, so um, I'm happy to have that in my collection. Um, I really love the starfruit note. Um, so yeah, um, that is my tiny haul. So yes, I, I specifically went into the store looking for those fine fragrance mists. Um, I'm not going to end up buying the uh, body creams or the lotions. Um, I do not do body creams or lotions anymore from Bath & Body Works, only because they do irritate my skin. And um, yeah, so I'm staying away from those. I have three body creams now in my collection which I'm trying to work through so uh, once I'm done with those that's it I'm done um, but I will stick to I would say with the fine fragrance mist the candles of course and um, the, and sometimes the shower gels and of course the soaps so um, the hand soaps so anyways um, that is my tiny haul um, from Bath and Body Works. So, um, on to my tips and tricks when it comes to shopping at SAS at Bath and Body Works. So, what is SAS? Uh, it's a semi annual sale that happens twice a year at Bath and Body Works. Um, the summer SAS. Uh, is coming up very soon. It's happening this Saturday, June the 3rd, and it will last for about a month. Um, and uh, so you have plenty of time shopping at Bath & Body Works uh, during that time. Um, there, The stores usually use this time to sell off um, products uh, or inventory so they can make room for new products coming up in the fall and winter. Now, there is also a winter SAS, um, and that one took place um, on Boxing Day here in Canada, which is um, December 26, uh, which I did participate in, um, and I did pick up uh, some products then. So, um, but I'm really excited about this summer annual sale, <clears throat> this uh, SAS um, in particular, because I find like the, the summer semi-annual sales to be bigger 
and uh, there's a lot more product to be found and to be purchased. So, um, yes, that's number one. SAS is happening June the 3rd, which is on a Saturday. Uh, you can shop online and offline. Uh, there is a Canadian website. Uh, we've had a Canadian website for quite some time, quite a few years. Um, <clears throat> now, I know some people do still shop on the uh, U.S. website uh, because um, it seems like the U.S. Um, website offers more product than the Canadian. Um, I've never done shopping online with Bath & Body Works. I've always gone into the stores. And my recommendation when shopping at um, the semi-annual sale is go into the stores and go to multiple stores if you can. Uh, only because each store will have different inventory. Um, like, for example, one store will have tons of uh, Vanilla Bean Noel and, and another store will not. Um, and uh, you will expect Christmas, you will expect fall uh, and summer as well. Um, now, these new summer products will probably won't be on sale. Um, there probably will be, I'm just guessing, like maybe a, like a buy two, get two free, or buy three, get one free, or something like that. These will not be on sale. Um, so when shopping at Bath & Body Works, I would stay away from products like this. Um, now these may go down in price uh, towards the end of the uh, sale, uh, but I can't guarantee you that. Um, and also um, for SAS, they usually uh, release um, specific um, new product for that sale. Uh, that will be launched, um, such as the Groovy Collection. And there's an other, and uh, there's an also a, I think it's called the Salt. Oh man, I can't remember the Salt, um, Salt Sugar. I think it's sh Salt Sugar, like, uh, Shack, I think it's called. I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I'm babbling. I just finished work, so I'm, I'm a little tired. Um, and they also bring back uh, retired scents. Um, and um, they also will be retiring um, scents. They usually do retire fragrances during uh, those sales, which is unfortunate. But my experience is that um, a fragrance that is being retired, it's not entirely gone. Um, Sometimes what Bath & Body Works will do is will re-release or repackage a fragrance just like Sunset Glow here. Um, or they will repackage and they'll re -re rename it altogether. <laughs> they, they're, they are notorious for doing that. Um, so yes, um, make up a list of what are you looking for at the at the semi-annual sale <clears throat> for me like i said i'm staying away from the body creams and the lotions so that is not on my list um there are a couple of youtubers from the u.s that um <clears throat> are reviewers with bath and body works and they do I find like they, they are in the know of what's going to be released at Bath & Body Works. Um, and uh, so I would recommend following those YouTubers. Um, and also, um, there's also, I think she's a fellow Canadian. Her name is Tess. <clears throat> she um, She's a blogger. I will link her blog down below. She seems to be in the know. I think she works within the company so she uh, she does post a lot of like sneak peeks 
of what's to come. Uh, like, I already know what's coming out for uh, fall and Halloween. Um, so, and I have seen photos of the new product, which I'm really excited. And that's, that's the thing with Bath and Body Works. Keep in mind, after SAS, fall and Halloween is starting to trickle in after after the the sale so don't blow all of your budget at at the summer um SAS um yeah um make up a budget whether you want to spend twenty dollars fifty dollars sixty dollars or a hundred dollars and uh yeah just set up a budget set up a list because honestly guys it is very overwhelming uh when it comes to shopping at Bath and Body Works during their semi-annual sales because there's so much product. Um, <clears throat> and bring your list with you. Um, and what I do, my suggestion, if you're looking for the new fragrances or even the retire or the uh, returning fragrances, when you walk into your store, go to those products first that way you're guaranteed you're going to um, not miss out on them. Because I find like the um, those collections sell out really quickly. Uh, just like uh, these, the winter, the last winter semi-annual sale, they released a 90s collection, uh, <clears throat> which I did purchase brown sugar and fig from that collection. Um, and in the fine fragrance mist and the... Um, shower gel I did not pick up the other two um, that were within that collection um, and they had some other ones which I skipped over um, <clears throat> but um, for this year uh, for this summer sale they have a groovy collection as well I'm very much interested in a groovy watermelon fine fragrance mist that they have uh, and that one apparently is a um, Repackage, again, repackage of uh, Pink Watermelon Blast, which, I again, I missed out on last year. Um, <clears throat> and some stores in the U.S. already have these products in their stores, but they're at full price. But I would recommend waiting until SAS. And the returning fragrances, um, I'm really looking forward to picking up Plumeria. Um, which um, has a red apple note. It's a floral a red apple note, which, as I mentioned before, I love apple notes. So um, <clears throat> I do remember Plumeria. I do remember wearing that back in the early 2000s, and I'm happy to get that back into my collection. And for the disc, they are going to be having discontinued um <clears throat> fragrances unfortunately which always makes me sad when I see them go but like I said somewhere down the line they will bring them back um, <clears throat> for the first one um, I will be picking up is Poppy um, that one I don't have in my collection uh, which I'm really surprised they're retiring that one Th that one was released um, I believe last year uh, towards the end of the summer, early fall. Um, it's a good one. Um, I It's a floral, um, fine fragrance. Of, uh, it's a, it's a floral fragrance uh, um, and a bubbly one, I find. Um, <clears throat> it's, um, it's a fruity scent as well. Um, and it's a good transition uh, scent to wear. Uh, between summer and fall. <clears throat> now, when that was released, there was so much being released at that time, and I kind of forgot about it. Um, and every time I go into the store, I want to pick it up, but then I end up picking up something else. So definitely, I will pick up Poppy. Uh, I will pick up a Fine Fragrance Mist in that. Unfortunately, they're retiring Gingham Love. Um, I already have that in my collection, but I don't mind getting, getting a backup for that one. Um, and to my surprise, they're also retiring Vanilla Mocha Martini. My husband loves that one. I ended up picking him the Fine Fragrance Mist um, 
<clears throat> and the body cream for Christmas for him. I did end up getting a, a, a fine fragrance mist for myself as well. So <clears throat> even though I, I, I have that in my collection, um, I don't, I, I'm not sure if I will get a backup of it, even though I love it. Um, if I don't get a backup for it, that's fine. It's not do or die, you know, if I don't get it. Um, only because I already have it. And it does take me a while to get through um, these um, fine fragrance mists. I can have some of these in my, in my collection for years. So, um, and I do have ones in my collection, which I've shown in a previous video for many years. So, and I still haven't used any, uh, like, all of it up. So, um, and some of them I have kept out of nostalgic reasons. Like, I do have an older Sweet and Pumpkin, <clears throat> like, from the early um, or mid-2000s. So uh, I kept that for nostalgic reasons. Um, and uh, what else? They're also retiring um, Gingham Vibrant, which is surprising to me because that was recently released, um, which is um, the purple, uh, which was in the purple faceted bottle from that collection. Um, part of the new ginghams. Um, I do love that one. That's my favorite of all of all the uh, new ginghams that were released. Um, fortunately, I did get a backup for that. So um, I'm not going to get a backup for that. I'm happy with the two that I have in my collection. And also on my list, um, I'm looking for um, <clears throat> some blended candles that they have this year specifically for this sale. The one I'm looking for is Marshmallow Fireside and Black Cherry Mer Merlot. Uh, I have both of these candles in my collection, uh, but um, I'm finding interesting that they're starting to blend some of these candles. So that one is on my list to pick up. Uh, <clears throat> and I may pick up some, a couple of uh, wallflower uh, refills such as sweet tea and lemonade if it's available um, and what else is on my list just like possible uh, fragrances um, like twisted peppermint winter candy apple autumn dry pearberry into the night I already have into into the night in my collection um, <clears throat> I've had it for quite some time so I may get a, a, a newer version of that and uh, I do have winter candy apple just getting on so I would like to um, get a backup so yeah I'm going to be going into my store uh, shopping in the store early I'm going to be going to the mall quite early uh, even before the store opens so that's my suggestion going really early if you're going to shop the first day because a lot of products especially the new products are going to be sold out really quickly um, <clears throat> and um, my last tip is have fun and uh, don't feel overwhelmed don't feel stressed I know it can be stressful seeing a lot of people around you and that's why it's also a good idea to go early uh, on the first day my husband is going to be joining me so I won't be there on my own we're going to go there a little bit early even before the store opens we're going to grab a coffee just relax and uh, just have fun um, and uh, I probably will be attending the sale more than one day uh, and I may be going into another Bath and Body Works store in another city so yeah that is everything Sorry about my babbling, guys. I hope um, this helps anybody. Um, yeah, and just have fun. I'm very excited for Saturday, June the 3rd, um, to be shopping at Bath & Body Works in stores. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye now.